Probably wondering where we're at because you've never seen this place before in any of my videos. Well, we're not in any place we've ever been in any of my videos because Tiny and me are on vacation. We are currently sitting in Memphis, Tennessee in our Airbnb in the heart of it all, the thick of it, one might say. One might say. Yeah. We literally just got here and now we're sitting down for a little snack some peanut butter and celery. And Shai is eating some granola. Granola. So we have lots of plans ahead, but I'm not gonna spoil it. You're just gonna have to watch. The title, depending on what I name this video, may give some things away, but I'm gonna leave you hanging. You gotta keep watching to find out what comes next. We literally have no idea what's coming next today. So no idea. your guess is as good as ours. But for now, we're gonna refuel, recharge, and schedule some things to do. So we'll see you in a little while. Okay, so we decided what we're doing now. Oops, I turned the wrong way already, so off to a good start. So we're going to get some famous Memphis barbecue at Corky's Ribs and Barbecue. And uh, plan. Did you say Corky's? Did I say Corky's? <laughs> I might have said Corky's. I'm just turning wherever I want and the GPS is. <laughs> Clearly, I just woke up from a nap, so my brain is yet to be fully functioning. Corgi's barbecue, we're gonna get some ribs. We'll show you how to do Memphis keto style and how to do Memphis not keto style for tiny. Yeah. So we'll see you there. <laughs> She's asking if she can take my picture. So I can get the background. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> the background up behind me says Corgi's. <laughs> And this is what we're getting. We're getting a full slab of ribs for two. We'll get half dry, half wet. Pretty cool in here. And tiny. All right, the food has been delivered. We got the dry, we got the wet, and we got the bibs. Because we're gonna get it. We're gonna get this food right now. This southern soul food. Look at how beautiful. She is. Right outside, where we just finished eating in Corky's. I'm wearing my front cape. Okay, so that place was amazing. Food was delicious. The service was fantastic. I didn't get her name, our waitress. Oh, I didn't either. So I don't know what her name was. Turn Enya down so we don't get a copyright infringement on this part of the video. And it gets like totally quieted down. Yeah, we ended up sitting next to a couple from Alabama. His name was Wayne, which just happens to be Tiny's dad's name. His wife's name was Peggy. We had talked to the waitress about my GoPro sitting on the table. And I said that we uh, we filmed for YouTube. He asked if we were food critics and then gave <laughs> us a really cool suggestion for a restaurant in uh, Decatur, Alabama, Big Bob Bronson's Barbecue or something like that. I, I can't remember. Yeah, I meant to ask him to write it down. Yeah, so we'd have to Google it to get the exact name. Super cool guy, he ended up being a music worship leader for a church and he's been at this church for 27 years with the same congregation, so that's pretty cool. So that is how we ended our time at Porky's. 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 Recommend. It's so good. So good. Got some kayakers out there. So we are down here by the rib front in Memphis. This is the grand old Mississippi. Beautiful sunset with the big Memphis bridge there.
proud. Good morning, Tiny. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's day two, and we are off to the home of Elvis Presley. Graceland Mansion. It is going to be amazing. This will be Tiny's first time. Are you excited? Yeah. I wore my Elvis shirt just for this. So we can't film at Graceland. After 0.1 miles, turn right. So I can't take the GoPro in because it'll either be confiscated or I'll be told to take it back to the car, which is lame. But I will have my phone with me. And so if I can find ways to sneak Turn some video, right. then I will yes. do that. In the meantime, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see some pictures and, and things on there. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, it is at it's underscore all knee, I-T-S underscore A-L-L-K-N-E-E -E on Instagram. We'll do some filming when we get there to show you what it looks like. And then afterwards, we'll probably go and uh, show you the mansion from the infamous uh, rock wall that's outside the mansion that a bunch of like thousands and thousands of people have signed. So here's Graceland. This is actually a brand new thing. This was not here when I was here four years ago. So that's all brand new. And Graceland's over here. And there's me in the mirror. So we're here at the home of Elvis Presley. The official home of Elvis Presley. Where he lived, where he died. He recorded some of the most monumental, just like acoustic sessions with friends. We're about to see some amazing things. And when you see this one on camera again, fully obsessed. Mark my words, <laughs> fully obsessed. We will check in with you after Graceland. This tractor was one of Elvis's favorite toys, and it was purchased in Waterloo, Iowa, or is, excuse me, built in Waterloo, Iowa. And he uh, used it at Graceland, and it was used for over 50 years here before retired in 2009, and fully restored to its glory days, to which Waterloo, Iowa Waterloo Works made it. We're done. How's your long? Yawning? Yawning. But you know why? Because it's been a long, wonderful day at Graceland. We got here at about nine, and it's now almost five o'clock. How was it, Tiny? Oh, it's so fun. Yeah? It's amazing. Are you a big fan now? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I want to hear all Elvis music. I want to see documentaries. I want to see conspiracy stuff. And the conspiracy stuff is because when Elvis was reported dead in 77, he didn't actually die. First of all, I plead innocent of all charges. He was still alive. Honey, I just, I just seem to keep my own personal views about that to myself. He faked his death. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't know what makes him think that. So just marinate on that for a little while. But for now, we're going to leave. 
We're bidding farewell to Graceland. Goodbye, Elvis. Goodbye. <laughs> so we're now here at the infamous stone wall of Graceland. The mansion's right up there. So you can see how he had his privacy. And it's just short enough for Shy to see over the top of it. Yeah. Without the zoom, you can't really see a whole lot. But it's still cool. This is where Elvis did his thing. He rode his horses and rode four wheelers and golf carts and go karts and everything. Cool. The pink Cadillac drove up that road. All of his eight or nine cars. Yeah. And there you go. The infamous music gates, the gates to Graceland. A little tiny. And Elvis would come to these gates and he'd sign autographs for people. Elvis Aaron Presley, which is spelled incorrectly. A-A-R-O-N should be A-R-O-N. And again, conspiracy. He was A-Ron, not A-A-Ron. Where is A-A-Ron right now? And on his tombstone, it's A-A-Ron. That's not right, because his twin brother who is stillborn, his middle name is Garen, G-A-R-O-N, and his mom and dad copied that with A-R-O-N, which is not on the tombstone or any of the things. So it's, it's like... R.I.P. Elvis. R.I.P. R.I.P. Elvis. <laughs> We're now at the pyramid. So fun story, back in 2009, my first trip to Graceland, first trip to Memphis, this pyramid was an abandoned convention center. And I stood at the base of this thing and it was empty, completely empty. And then Bass Pro Shop bought it and you have what you see before us today a giant outdoor world with an observation deck all the way at the top, which we're going to. So come. Careful. Don't hurt it. Its face is so cute. Yeah, it is really cute. Oh, look at those. Oh, whoa. Oh. It's a nice rack on the buck. Oh, yeah, they are. It's crazy how still they are just to get their picture taken. Because <laughs> once we're out of the way, they start moving again. I might take them. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's like Toy Story, but it's just called Stuffed Dead Animals. What? What? I said I wonder what PETA thinks about this. Send this video to PETA. Comment down below, PETA. Let us know what you, you think. Arr. This tree is literally grown apparently in this place. Boy, I guess this place is abandoned a lot longer than I thought. A full grown tree and everybody, it's real too, real life. Can I come in? Oh. Whoa. Hello. Yeah, you can get on the top or the bottom. Is this our child? <laughs> yes. Hello. What's your name? Hi. Anya. Hi, Anya. Hi. Hello. Hello. Are you Anya's sister? No. Hello. Anya's friend. Anya's friend? Yeah, she knows me and I know her. Okay. There's room for everybody. These are called camping crashers. Camping, camping crashers. crashers. Oh, camping crashers. <laughs> we have a couple camping crashers on our hands. But look, it works. Yeah, lots of room. Three for the top and one for the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's <laughs> We're putting these to work. Yeah, you are. They're, they're pretty sturdy. Hey. 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 You're looking at me. <laughs> well, thanks for letting us in your house. Yeah, this was fun. This is our house. I know. Thanks for letting us join. <laughs> kind of like suggestively across. Yeah, waiting for your husband to come into the tent and then this little girl just runs in. Oh my gosh, a Martian. It's like... <laughs> it's a scuba diver. It's an underwater... That is not a Martian. An underwater Martian. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So if that's an underwater Martian, what's the fish next to it? Oh my gosh, that's a space fish. A space fish? <laughs> all, are all of them space fish? <laughs> yes. How so, else would they be floating if they weren't? Because it's water. Oh. Wouldn't that make more sense than them being in space? Well, see, the thing about space is that it's zero gravity and that's how they swim around. I didn't make this up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this isn't common knowledge yet. So, come on. Maybe it is here in Tennessee. <laughs> we are in Memphis. We are in Memphis. This to me is you think it's incredibly hard. <laughs> Super awesome. Cheap entertainment. That's what it looks like inside. Q, hey Q, where are you? Q, Q. Oh, hello. We found him. There's Q. Look at how cute Q is. He's dirty. This is our Subaru. We'll show him in better daylight tomorrow. But for now, time to head out. So just 
to ignore this part so you don't think that you made bad decisions while you were filming. Fast forward through all of this, it's not even meant to be for human consumption.